China is creating another naval route to escape a blockade by India and Australia. And only Thailand can stop it before it's too late. China has been looking to construct a 120-kilometer mega canal cutting through the isthmus of Kra in Thailand, which would help it solve the Malacca dilemma as it will open the South China Sea to the Indian Ocean by passing the Strait of Malacca. What China is eyeing is a canal project in Thailand called the Kra Canal and the Thai leadership seems to be on board. Through this canal, China is trying to reduce dependence on the Strait of Malacca. Currently, 80% of China's oil imports pass through the South China Sea via the Strait of Malacca. A key reason why China has not been able to grow too powerful is the looming threat that democratic and fair powers like India, Australia and other Southeast Asian nations are well positioned to cut off Chinese supply lines in the event of a major military confrontation by creating a blockade around the Strait of Malacca. China wants to ensure that its commercial and naval vessels find an alternate route that altogether avoids the Malacca choke point while travelling between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. This is an overhang of the maritime portion of Xi Jinping's flagship Belt and Road Initiative that seeks to connect Southeast Asia with the Middle East and Europe. Writing for the Tribune in 2018, Vivek Kachu, ex-secretary at India's Ministry of External Affairs, encapsulated this geopolitical situation accurately. Kachu said, the Malacca choke makes China uneasy for it is not only dependent on West Asian oil which passes through the straits but also its general trade uses these waters. Hence the canal alternative is strategically valid. According to First Post, the Indian government sources have said that Lang Hao, the Chinese company that is infamous for involvement in the Chinese government's artificial island building spree in the South China Sea, will be given the responsibility for building the Kra Canal. Private Chinese investors have already committed an investment of 30 billion US dollars for the construction of the Kra Canal. Presently, Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut Chanocha has ordered feasibility studies to examine the economic viability of the 120 km long mega canal. At the outset, however, it seems that investments on the canal would not offer rich returns. The Suez Canal and the Panama Canal were successful projects because they bypassed entire continents and thus charged hefty fees from large ships. But the returns from the Kra Canal will not be that lucrative. Chinese investments are hard loans that impose exorbitant commercial interest rates. As we have seen with Laos, the Maldives and the Hamadota port project in Sri Lanka, BRI infrastructure projects are rarely viable for the host nations. Countries end up paying with their territorial sovereignty when they cannot pay in terms of money. This is how Beijing has been targeting ports and other strategic infrastructure. A mega canal in Thailand could be its next big target. If Thailand's Prime Minister decides to go ahead with the Kra Canal project and that too with the present arrangement of heavy Chinese investment, then the project might get ready by the end of the next decade. Consequently, the Strait of Malacca would stand bypassed and China will end up controlling a canal that flows into the Andaman Sea. This would be a massive setback for the free world. Not only will it impose a direct naval threat to India from the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy, but it will also deprive fair players like Australia and India of a strategic advantage over Beijing. India in particular will have to make a military reposturing in order to meet the Chinese threat. Thailand must rethink its ambitions to build the Kra Canal. It is well understood in the entire Indo-Pacific region that China cannot be a friend. Thailand itself doesn't stand to gain anything by letting China eat into its territorial sovereignty. A decision against Chinese investment in the Kra Canal has to come from Thailand because only Thailand can make a decision about its own territorial interests no matter how badly other countries might be getting affected. Secondly, Thailand must understand that it is a part of the ASEAN bloc and it must realize how Beijing has been bullying Vietnam, Brunei, Malaysia and the Philippines in the South China Sea. 
Thailand cannot let Beijing use its territory for hurting Thailand's ASEAN friends. Within New Delhi, there should be an attempt to engage Thailand before it's too late. Bangkok must be told that if it really wants to build a canal, it must do so with the help of fair players like India and the US instead of relying upon a belligerent China. The Kra Canal might be built in Thailand, but many countries are bound to get affected. A solution must be found to this geopolitical threat as overwhelming investments from Chinese companies would ensure that China usurps sovereignty over the canal, using it for its own advantage and furthering its naval and economic ambitions. Vivek Kaju suggested, one way to do so would be to ensure that except Thailand, no other country is allowed to use it for the passage of its naval vessels. That will assuage strategic apprehensions of the region and beyond. A belligerent China is trying to clear the only hurdle in its expansionist tendencies. And the world must wake up and alert Thailand before it is too late.